Well, tonight, continuing coverage on the arrest of La Jolla's 81-year-old former mayor, Jose Fito Salinas, now facing two wire fraud charges. The feds say Salinas made a lot of money off taxpayers and helped his daughter do the same. Taylor Winkle joins us with reaction all new at 10. According to the U.S. Attorney's Office, the former mayor took part in two separate schemes. And tonight, in the city of La Jolla, some telling us this arrest was anticipated. It doesn't come as a surprise. Uh, we already knew uh, some things were happening uh, ever since the FBI did the raid in the city. Flash back to the last La Jolla mayoral election. Jaime Gaitan lost against former mayor Jose Fito Salinas. He says during that time, an August 16th raid at City Hall was on the minds of many. This is video our crew shot that day. FBI agents hauling away boxes. Agents not talking to us at the time, but a city administrator did. What I've been told is that they are looking to certain matters. They will not disclose what matters those are. It is a standard search warrant is what I've been told. I've actually looked at it myself and it does appear standard. It doesn't mention any details in particular as to what they will be reviewing. Now a federal indictment outlines two alleged schemes involving the former mayor. The first happening between January and June of 2016. The city of La Jolla bought property Salinas owned for way more than what it was worth. According to the feds, the U.S. Attorney's Office says the second involves a public relations contract, allegedly including the former La Jolla Housing Authority vice chair, Sylvia Garces Valdez, who was arrested last August. I can't discuss in, in, ongoing investigations, and I can just tell you that I'm very much aware that there's ongoing investigations of all sorts at different levels here in La Jolla, so I really can't comment on that. Ruben Villarreal took over the executive director role at La Jolla Housing Authority last September. We asked him about the arrest. I wasn't expecting it at all. I know you hear a lot of talk and you see the circumstances of what goes on in the great big world, but you know, he, you know, Salinas, Mr. Salinas was our mayor. He was a mayor of this community. And you always hope that people of, 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 of responsibility make good choices. We reached out to the city of La Jolla's attorney, Roberto Jackson. He says they can't comment on the case yet. But in the meantime, both Gaetan and Villarreal hope it moves swiftly through the system. Justice uh, wheels turn a little slow, especially when there are state and federal crimes uh, involved. Um, but um, it, it, it is what it is, and, and they're going to take uh, uh, all the action that needs to be taken. It hurts either way. It, it, we have a soul and in small communities. Maybe that soul gets multiplied because we're so small and we see, tend to know our neighbors much more. But you have to let justice do what it has to do. For the sake of La Jolla. Salinas is expected to make his first appearance before a federal judge tomorrow morning at 11. We'll be following this case and let you know what happens next. For now, reporting in La Jolla, Taylor Winkle, Channel 5 News at 10.